Hey guys, there has been a leak from InnoSilicon that they are releasing an 8-hash miner, an Ethereum miner, that can do up to 485 mega hashes per second and only use 850 watts. So many thanks to, if, if I can pronounce this username right, Dulu Rulu, one of my viewers uh, let me know about this, so many thanks about that. Uh, this leak comes from a Russian forum, you know, so someone was obviously in the audience and... They posted that. There's some other images there that aren't shared on Reddit. Um, but yeah, there's some information there about it, about what it's going to be. But the, the person here has summarized it. $5,000 will get you one that can do 485 mega hashes per second, and that's 850 watts. There'll be one at 4,600 for 432, 3,800 for 365. And that only uses 650 watts. I, I mean, looking at that, I think... You know, the one in the middle there, that, that's so close to 5,000. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I think most people would go for the 5,000 or the 3,800. We'll see. Um, now, there's no mention of this on their website as yet. Um, if you look at the product page, you won't see anything about that. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're talking about their new Ethash miner, you have to talk about Bitmains. And Bitmain released the E3 a few months ago. They're now on to batch four. And right now, their batch four for their big, this big device here, it's $1,328. And you need to pay like another $100 or something if you don't have a power supply. Um, so, you know, $1,328, that will get you 190 mega hashes per second. No doubt it can be overclocked as well. And, you know, the real thing here is the power. So this is 707 watts. Um, so, if I mean, if you multiply that by three... Um, you're going to get about $3,900, $4,000. You're talking around that mark. Um, but instead of getting 365, you'll get, what's that, 570. Um, so from a, from, a, from a purchasing point of view, you get more hash. You get more hash power by buying the Antminer E3. But your power draw will be much, much higher as well, like two or three times, maybe th three times or more actually, higher than what these ones are. Um, but th that one's at 850 watts, that one's at 740, that one's at 650. So from an efficiency point of view, the in silicon one looks a lot better. Um, but this one, as far as hash power goes, I suspect you can overclock it as well. Maybe this is a smarter buy? I don't know. Um, following the live stream last week, I have been a uh, mining Ethereum for a few days and I I'm getting around, I think about 800 total, 800 megahertz per second total with my GPUs, but that, you know, the power draw from my rigs is significantly higher. Um, you know, I think um, on Hive OS, it's saying, that, you know, my my rigs, I think I'm about 1.5 kilowatts, um, simply just, you know, 1,500 simply for my 1060s, so 24 1060s, which give me 450, I'm burning up 1,500 watts or 1,520 watts or something like that. So, from an efficiency point of view, my GPUs, which, you know, cost me over 10,000, um, it can't do as 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 much Ethereum as these ant miners and the, these ASIC, uh, the ASIC ant miner and the silicon one. So Ethereum has steadily been one of the most profitable um, algorithms to mine, it hash. And, you know, if you look at the top five and what to mine, it's nearly always Ethereum that's up there. Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, you know, all these other eight hash coins. So what are we going to see with this? I don't know. Ethereum has been talking about going to proof of stake for a long time. It still hasn't happened, but maybe this will give it another push in that direction. Um, but there's a lot of other coins on the eight hash algorithm. So for me, mining Ethereum right now with my 1060s, in theory, and again, this comes back to, you know, buying and selling, but in theory, I could sell all my GPUs, buy a couple of 8-hash miners, and have a much, much higher um, mining rate, a much um, much higher hash rate overall. But you lose the flexibility, you lose the, um, you lose resale value, you lose a lot of things. So there's a lot of things to to. Uh, to just um, to weigh up with this kind of thing. Now, I'd like to do another live stream about all these kind of things because this is something that's, you know, constantly in the mind of GPU miners and ASIC miners is, you know, should I sell? Should I buy? Should I keep what I've got? Uh, so I'll do a live, stream, a live stream and we can talk about this more. 
But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this. Let me know whether you think this is a good deal or not. If you want to buy an 8 hash ASIC miner, would you wait for the Encilicon and get better efficiency? Or would you go for hash power and go for Bitmain's Antminer E3? Let me know what you think in the comment area below and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.